So today, so today I'm going to talk about the seven habits of highly effective people. This is one of my favorite books, and the reason why it's my favorite book is because it really talks about how you can achieve success in every area of your life and also long-term success. It's written by Stephen Covey, and it has sold over 14 million copies. And there's a reason why this book has sold so much, and this is a timeless book. One of the major messages of this book is success really starts from the inside. Success starts from your character. Success is something that you have to be intentional about. It doesn't just, you can't just wake up and be, be, to be successful. And there are certain habits that you must, have, you must have to achieve success. And success, um, your character is very key to success. A lot of books really talk about how you communicate, how you appear around people, but your personality must be rooted in your character because character is long term. Now, what do you see in this picture? Can we write down what you see in this picture? Do you see a young woman or do you see an old woman? So just write it down. What do you see in this picture? A young woman or an old woman? So, whatever you see in this picture, right, shows how you're going to interact with that woman, right? And that's how life is. How you see life sometimes is the problem. If you see life from a negative lens, probably you're going to have a negative way to react to life. So, the first thing is that you have to change the way you see life. Now, there are several sets of habits that I'm going to talk about today, and the first three sets is being, it has to do with you being independent, how to achieve self-mastery, how to build your inner strength. And those are the first three habits I'm going to look at today. And the first one is being proactive. Being proactive really means concentrating on what you can influence, concentrating on your circle of influence, not your circle of concern. Your circle of concern has to do with your external environment, like what people say about you, what people think about you, how the environment is. But your circle of influence has to do with your responsibility. And one way you can do that is by proper planning, is by working on your learning, it's by self-development. And that's one way you can be proactive. Being proactive is key to being successful in life. The next habit is putting first things first. Now, this is very key. A lot of times, we concentrate on activities that are urgent and not important, or activities that are urgent and important, but we need to concentrate on activities that are important and not urgent. Now, let me explain that to you. It means you need to concentrate on activities that they are important, but not so urgent, like, for example, your learning, for example, your physical health, for example, going to your spiritual life, for example, your relationship with people. And one of the ways you can do that is by being consistent every single day, taking out time, maybe one hour or two hours, to actually attend to those activities. The next habit is putting the end in mind, starting, you know, always having the end in mind in everything you do in life, always having an end goal. You know, you shouldn't just have, life should not just be a series of activities without a common goal, without a common um, purpose, and you should always have an end goal in everything you do. Now, we're moving to the next, the, la the next three um, habits, which is, which helps you, which takes you from being an independent person to an interdependent person, meaning, and that's really great, so it teaches you how to work with people. Working with people is one way you can maintain long-term success. So one of the habits is aim for win-win. Now this is very key. A lot of times we have relationships. Sometimes we get emotional, emotional about our relationship. But sometimes we have to take the step back and say, okay, is the relationship I'm in, is it a win-win or is it a lose-win situation? And you actually have to have a self-reflection. And I did that. 
I remember there was a time in my life where I used to be a person that never knew how to say no to people. I struggled to say no. I couldn't just say no. Like, no, saying no to me, people was like, I used to feel so guilty. But I realized that a lot of my relationships were really lose me. I was the one losing and other people were winning. So I had to take the step back and say, okay, you know what? I want to have win-win relationship, and that's what I did. The second habit is seek to understand before being understood. A lot of times we always complain, people just don't understand me, people just don't get me. But do you know that it's more important to actually try to understand people because we all have different experiences, we all came from different environments. And one of the ways you can seek to understand people is by being an active or an empathic listener meaning not just listening to reply. A lot of times we, when somebody is talking to us, we are listening to just reply to the person. No, listen to understand. Listen to understand what the person is trying to say. And that's one way you can work effectively with people. And another one, um, I bet, is the power of synergy. The Bible says that one person will chase 1,000 and two will chase 10,000. It is key to learn to work with people. It is key to collaborate with people. You achieve more with life when you work with people. Now, the last habit is sharpening the saw. I can give an example. Two weeks ago, I was trying to cut meat in my kitchen, and I realized that the knife in my kitchen was they were just all blunt, so it took me longer. And that's how life is. If you don't sharpen your skills, if you don't sharpen your skill set, you tend to do activities longer and one of the ways you, you need to sharpen your skill set is what we call kazan continuous improvement there are four areas in life that you should continue to improve yourself your health your um, your social interaction with people your education your learning and also your spiritual life so i have so this is the end of my presentation now before i go i want to ask you a question which happy resonated in you which habit did you did you say okay you know what this is an habit that I feel I need to do this is an habit I feel uh, I'm already doing just I just want you to have a self-reflection and just think what habit do you think you can learn from so thank you very much and that's the end of my presentation